Here in the kitchen with resident chef Alison Davis from Wild Time. How are you? I'm always great. Are you? No. Oh, I was going to say, really? You can't always be happy. No, no, no. no. Well, you should be anyway. You should try. Anyway. Um, yes. Okay, what are we making here? Because this is all, sm I smell balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're boiling it. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me what we're doing. All right, so this is a go-to side. It's actually a, a, just a side dish, but it's a little more elegant. So, you know, you could serve it with steak or short ribs mm. or, you know, just a nice, elegant side dish, but clean, refreshing. It's um, gluten-free. It's it's everything. It's a, it's a, it's a go-to. So I've picked up some beautiful asparagus. It looks gorgeous. I know. They are really, really nice. And w uh, asparagus is also a spring crop, so we're starting to, you know, maybe get uh, larger, you know, asparagus now from different parts yep. of the country. So the first thing is um, we're going to do uh, prosciutto-wrapped asparagus bundles. Oh, yum. With some fresh lemon, roast it off in the oven, and then we're going to do a balsamic reduction. So okay. that's what we have here is I'm just kind of boiling and Perfect. reducing the balsamic. Okay. First thing we want to prep up our asparagus. So okay. um, asparagus has a natural breaking point. They're all kind of a little bit different, but you start from the bottom and you just kind of find that snap and that's oh. where you break them. I didn't know that. Yeah. I literally thought you just chopped the bottom off like you, that. No, you can, but I mean, sometimes oh. they are more like certain places, but you'll feel it. They just break. I don't, don't know. They? Well, it just broke in two different spots. Exactly. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, they have a natural like point, um, but you can, you know, cut them if you want to keep them all like even and consistent. I know, and I'm so manic. I'd want them all perfectly the same size. We would have never known that yes. about you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So then, uh, what we're going to do here is take our prosciutto, mm -hmm. and I'm going to just take my two little um, asparagus and just take that, and then just basically kind of roll that around nice yeah. and tight. That's going to give it a beautiful saltiness, um, add a little bit more of that, you know, prosciutto flavor. And then those are going to roast like that together. Okay. Um, and then that's just going to crisp up the prosciutto around them. Nice. Yeah, so I've got this some This is the simple. Oven. It's very simple. I've got some in the oven that I'm getting ready to pull out that we can show them. Yeah. Um, so once I laid them on the uh, sheet tray, yeah. I just sliced some lemons, laid that across drizzled a bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and some parsley. And put it back in the oven. And that's And then it goes in the oven with the lemons and everything on okay. it. So the lemons can kind of infuse a little bit Are they ready in the out of the, the oven? Food. They are. Oh, so yum. I'm going to let you, you grab it. That, but yes. for our balsamic, what I wanted to do is bring another little earthy component. Yes. And I wanted to add just figs. And just let the whole oh. figs in there and oh. let those reduce. And those can be kind of like something that's topped yeah. or even used like as a sauce, like on the plate. And, a and bit then of honey. to squeeze in, squeeze in, to sweeten it up, we're going to squeeze a little bit of honey in there. And you can also add a touch of water if needed. Yeah. Um, and then just How let that honey? reduce till you get a nice Enough, plate. That's think? plenty. Yeah, yeah, really just to kind of slightly sweeten okay. it. Okay, good. I like that. I like that. While you're there, my dear, I'll need a spoon as well. Um, one of the things I love about Alison is that she just also, you know, I harp on about the measurements. You know me, huh? Yes. Yeah. But just by doing those little bit of, a little bit here and a little bit there does give it quite an interesting flavour. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? It does. Well, and that's the joy of cooking. It's all about just you know, infusing your own flavors and yeah. your own taste and you know, the more you do it, it, it's like riding a bicycle. The more you know and then you start to like find those flavors that you just yeah. love. Yeah. Um, you know, if we wanted to heat this up a little bit, we could add some cayenne or some red pepper I love pepper the way you've done that. So do Isn't you want me to beautiful? drizzle this? Yeah. And then we can just let that, you know, just drizzle. Just, and just over like this? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Is that not? It's rustic, oh. but it's elegant. It's delicious. It's got so many different flavors that are working together from the earthy, you know, asparagus to the sweet balsamic. Balsamic, but you do put this prosciutto. back in the oven. You can if you want to even blister up that balsamic or you yeah, can just serve it I right do. like this. I would put a little bit in there. He's like, put it back. Yeah, no, I love the idea of it. Oh, and I love balsamic vinegar. <laughs> I do. And then I would, see you know those what figs that are hanging in yeah. there? That could go on the plate after. Oh, don't worry. It's in my mind. That's <laughs> what I'm already thinking. That's why I think we should pop it back in the oven. Okay. But what I was also thinking, Alison, is can you use a turkey baster? Because with the spoon, I felt like I was a little bit all over the shop. Yeah, and especially if you um, like, make this up ahead of time, yeah. your balsamic reduction could be made ahead, and you could keep that in your fridge for weeks. Oh, I love so it. So you could have that done in a squeeze bottle, and then you could just kind of oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, well, but thank I love you. Just, 
I love it all. So do I. Hey, if you want to get this fantastic recipe, head over to wtbq.com forward slash midday Kentucky. She's got to pop that in the oven. I'm telling you, it's looking gorgeous. I love it. We appreciate you again, Alison. Thank um, you. I'm going to keep cooking this until we go to break. Perfect. Back up to this short break, everyone.